Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. As you can see from the beginning, I had an appointment this morning, 37 week checkup, um, no ultrasound or anything, just good old fashioned checkup. Got to ask a lot of questions. Um, little baby, still not head down. Um, so I got a lot clarified of what we can expect with the C-section and whatnot. Um, they did give us a tentative date, which we're still discussing um, what we're gonna share, when we're gonna share, all of that. Um, you guys know we are big sharers. We're very much so working out how we wanna go about doing it um, between the two of us, and we will make that decision. Um, but yeah, there isn't an exact time. The date could potentially change, but they're pretty sure that the date that we received today is the date, so that's very exciting. Um, I think that's really it. I'm really, you know, I feel more confident about what to expect from the C-section. Um, he can still flip. There's not a large chance that he will. Um, but I have an ultrasound next week to check in on him. And even if he's not head down then, he could be head down when we go in for the C-section. Um, so yeah, we're still gonna do our stretches and try to get him to flip, but we are very prepared if he does not. Um, that's our update. I'm getting the vlog up. Peter is working. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I made flatbreads for dinner. Don't know how they're gonna be. The sauce was supposed to be like eggplant, more like meatballs, but it turned into sauce because I didn't have all of the ingredients. So, it should be delicious. interesting. Peter says olives, mine doesn't. And then I just made Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinegar and some tomatoes. And that's that, Mediterranean style. While we eat our delicious dinner, we're gonna watch, start watching this David Attenborough, Attenborough um, documentary on Netflix about the planet and what we gotta do to save it. Regenerative farming. Yes. And one thing is like, yes, like we need to do our individual parts, but we also need to hold corporations and big companies who are actually making a way bigger difference than like you and me are. I think this is Chernobyl they're showing. Yeah. And, um, vote. Our day, because I ended up working later and because the park's closed so early still, and we're having a dramatic moment about it, we're gonna go get this framed or we're gonna go order it to get framed for Michael's. Yeah, they're 60% off. Custom framing, and this deserves to be custom framed, also because I don't think it's, they sell this yeah, nice, it's, but it's, we're okay. I like custom framing beautiful things like this. Yeah, we did that. The bottom one was custom framed, along with that was also custom framed. Home is where dad is. Okay. That's kind of cool. No, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't you're on. Peter's getting Divine. some Lana Del Rey. I hope you're happy, Katie. He, he likes the black ones. Which one should I get? I like that one. Which one? Home is your dad is? Because then it's like, you're the dad and my dad too, you know? That kind of is a play on, it's good to be home. Okay. Okay, we thought we were sold on these high top chairs for, um, the island where like our our kitchen table used to be they say they swivel and they do not <laughs> 100% don't swivel <laughs> they don't swivel it's not like swivel they say swivel on all of them it's 10-16 I want to go on record this is all Sarah's fault <gasps> Wow. You channeled your brain waves into my brain and told me to go on a run. I just asked you if you were going on a run. Mm. My man took that and said, you have to go on a run. 
I hear your sounds. Good at it. <laughs> These, oh, if you don't look at that, this is gross. Um, yeah, I mean, I do need to go on a run because it's But just easy. a short one to get back into the groove. It's easy after a marathon and be like, oh, I did a marathon. I should rest. 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 Next thing you know, it's three weeks and you haven't run. So I had three days of rest. I originally planned on going back out for a run yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm going to go for a Good run. Good to be home. <laughs> Signing off. Sarah just in case. Sarah and Eve are just going to lay on this couch, watch some new girl, probably fall asleep. I have to asleep. write thank you cards, Peter. I have to. And that's for tomorrow. Have you missed this? I don't think I vlogged this at all uh, on Sunday during the marathon. But here is Park Ave at night. Just about to hit six miles. Um, probably gonna get two more in somewhere around that range before I stop. Feel good. I'm not pushing, I'm just taking it steady. I won't say slow because slow and fast are kind of like opinions, but I'm keeping it steady. That is factual. My speed has not gone up, my speed has not gone down since I started running really. But I feel really good coming out and for doing this three days out, three days, four days after a marathon, um, goes to, solidifies the fact that I ran that marathon to be healthy and strong, which is ultimately what the goal is for the World Marathon Challenge, which is still happening. I think we have a call with ACS next week about a project, a first fundraising stunt that we're gonna, we're gonna put on. So I have to do a lot of work between now and that call on Monday or Tuesday. Um, no big deal. Baby's gonna be born in two weeks and we're about to plan a, a huge, not a huge, but a, hopefully a huge fundraising event just this weekend. Uh, Sarah, if I forget to tell you about this when we get home, when you're editing this tomorrow morning, we gotta work on that project. We have a call with Kyra next week. Anyway, I digress, I feel good. I hope you guys feel good. I love you, all of you guys. Um, I love that mug we picked up. I love it's cheesy. I'm going to be such a cheesy dad because in two weeks, give or take a few days, we're bringing James home. That's pretty awesome. Wait a minute, you guys. I try to do this when I don't have my hair done. I'm going to hydrate. I've got like a post-workout um, recovery drink and some good old-fashioned H2O with some frozen H2O in it. And then I've got my I gotta roll out because the intent is to go on another run tomorrow and then a long run on Saturday. We'll see what that long run is, but it's a little after midnight, later than I wanted to, to be, but I mean, it's important to roll just as much as it is to get out every single day, even if it's just for five minutes. It's important to roll or stretch. I'm not that good at the stretching, but I'm usually good at the rolling. It keeps those everything all loose. don't want that to happen to, what, to my Achilles like it did two years ago, so... I'm going to rest, drink all this fluid, and get these girls ready for bed. See, this is just the perfection of cuteness in life. Gosh, what is today? Today is October, let's guess, 8th. October 8th by Elizabeth. Kubler-Ross. There are no mistakes, no coincidences. All events are blessings and given to us to learn from. Well, today I learned that um, Rich Roll, ultra marathon runner, podcaster, motivational speaker, kind of a hippie, is married to, which makes sense, like a, an LA retired fashion designer turned spiritual guru lady and I listened to their podcast in my run and it was very nice and I like them both and I might buy some artisanal plant-based cheese from her website so there it is just let that marinate until tomorrow's vlog it's good to be home
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>